Hi everyone, in this video I will design and calculate a piping hinting system. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! Before I start the designing of the heating pipe system, look at the, the model that I have already calculated the underfloor heating in the living room and in the bathroom, and I have already calculated the radiators for the bathrooms. So, okay, so to start the heating pipe system, I will activate the pipe function and I will uh, start this pipe in the installation room. So uh, I will point out the start point, the pipe start. Um, some parameters here that I will define for this pipe start is the medium. So the group is the heating and the medium is the heat, re uh, re heat supply and the material could be the, the copper. I will start with uh, predefined this pipe with uh, 25 di diameter nominal and the star mounting height I will set as 0.1. Uh, as you can see, the insulation is also activated uh, by this uh, option use insulation. If I would like to change the insulation type, I would come to the insulation tab. It's not the case here. So, I will click OK and I will start um, drawing this pipe. So close to this wall, I will change the mounting height. I will use a hotkey page down in my keyboard and I the, the new mounting height will be minus 0.12. So I will come here and get closer to the radiators. And I will close the function by pressing escape. Now I can directly uh, draw a parallel pipe for the return so I'll select one pipe segment and I can expand the selection so I can use the, the option draw parallel pipes as you can see the heat return is already uh, selected and it will be altered to the to the pipe supply with an offset of 15 centimeters so here it is I can directly uh, connect it to, to these radiators. So I'll select the three objects and I can use this option automatic connection. I will select the option direct from bottom to floor and this is the preview of the connection. And let's see in 3D the, the, the result. All right. Okay, so to connect this system to the heating, uh, underfloor heating, I will connect this pipe to the manifold. So I will start the pipe from the manifold. As you can see, a connection is highlighted. And bear in mind, the, for, for connections to be highlighted or recog uh, recognized, the function use smart snaps must be activated. So I'll left click here and I will uh, also recognize the, the pipe segment. And I left click. And in this dialog, it shows me different types of connections. So I'll select this horizontal vertical as we see uh, the preview image on the right. And I will do the same uh, with the supply. Okay, so press escape and I'll just refresh to uh, show the correct representation of the pipe. If we come here to the 3D, we see also the connection and and the same, uh, uh, the connection type. Okay, so now that I have already drawn the, the pipe and connected to, to the systems, to, to the underfloor heating circuit and also to, to the radiators, I will insert a pump. So it can, a pump can be inserted by this function over here and I will move to, to the pipe segment. As you can see, it's also highlighted. Uh, so I'll we'll set the category heating, sleeve, and I'll get a pump of 25 di diameter nominal. Okay, now what else I could insert here is, uh, is a valve. So let's come here and we have the valve product database. And I also move to the, to the segment I would like to insert. So I'll click here. So the, the valve that I will insert is a balanced valve. So DDS CAD has a product database of uh, balancing valves or adjustment valves. This comes from Dunfos. Um, so I'll select this one and I will also insert in, in this pipe going to the manifold. And 
now we are able to calculate it. So to calculate the system, first I have to insert a calculation point. So I select this option, set a calculation point, and then we insert at the beginning of the system. And I will just uh, give a system name. I'll, I will give a name of number one. And I will do the same for the return. I will just select the, the same circuit and I will directly click, click on the calculate button. Now we see here all the segments, the endpoints, and just to show you in a tab options, we have a lot of parameters for uh, calculation parameters as, as well. We can select the fluid. We can also adjust the lock shield valve if the authority of radiator valve is too great and all uh, many other options. In this case, I will directly come to the tab calculation and click on the calculation button. Uh, DDS CAD shows a dialog of pump selection. So the pump that I have selected now has the pressure of 8,918 and also the volume flow. So I'll click OK. And as you can see, uh, the complete system has been calculated and we found that the worst path is to the manifold. And these results that we find here for, for the load and for the flow comes from the underflow heating and radiators that I have previously calculated. If we come to the tab adjustable valves, we find the, uh, the adjustment valves for downfalls. Uh, for the two circuits, for the radiators and for the manifold for, uh, from the underflow heating system. So we find here the pressure loss and we find here the balance. Okay. At the end, we find in a valve setting column the adjustment or the setting that has been calculated automatically for this balancing or adjustment valves. We can make use of intelligent part text to insert the valve setting in a model. So I will select the valve and I will uh, select the, the function part text and it already has a preset for this valve. So click OK, move here and insert this setting. I'll just insert a, a reference line and erase background to have a better view. And of course, we can generate reports for this calculation. So we come to the building and I will click, having the, the system selected, I'll click on, on the reports button. And I'll select the Dimension heating and cooling systems. And I will select the option pipe network calculation, system adjustment and valve set settings. So going to the next page, we see lots of results. As we see also the set point that I have in inserted the intelligent text in the model. This report can be exported to Excel and other formats. If you like this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any questions or suggestions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!